Hey YouTube, this is Diva Elegance 91 and I'm coming to do a one week review on my and body wave hair that is 20 inches long. It's a lot of hair and I'm five four, you guys. And when I saw like other people get like 26 inch hair, it would come like like right above their behind. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, I could rock 20 inch hair. This is probably gonna be like where 18 to. No, the hair was long on me. I forgot just how short I really am. So yeah, the longest I'll probably go is 22, but I highly doubt that. I'm here to just kind of talk about it. Uh, I did purchase my hair from AliExpress.com, and the vendor I purchased my hair from was Involved Hair Products. And right now, I have in let's see, two and a half bundles. I first just I had three in all, but I only put in two and a half because I kind of I wanted bangs. I really didn't want any kind of parts. I just wanted bangs. I don't flip it and go. I don't have to really do anything. Do some parts. You gotta make sure it looks right. I don't know. I just I'm tired of a part. I just wanted some bangs. And so, I still have half of my bundle left. I don't really have it out right now. But, yeah. So, jumping right into this. My hair. I kind of got a bow thing going on back here. If you're wondering what this stuff is. This is with my scarf. I was going to do a bow. But my scarf was too long. And it made this big oversized bow. And I didn't like that. But then I didn't want it tied at the back. So, I kind of made a mini bow around my ponytail. And I like it. Because I don't see anybody else having that. So, I was like, yeah, that's going to work just fine. Um, this hair. Mm. Let's see where to begin with it. The first thing I can say is, it is soft. Like, it doesn't feel harsh or anything. You know, I've washed it. I washed it the shampoo and conditioner and I deconditioned it. I let it sit in the conditioner for a little while and I conditioned it with Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. And I shampooed it with Dove Intensive Repair uh, shampoo. So it came out really soft. It had a nice body weight to it. This is this is kind of close to the natural state of the hair, but I had it in a braid for like overnight. I wore it in a braid yesterday and to sleep when I went to sleep last night, and so this is kind of the result of that. But this kind of close to the waves it would get when it's wet. Mm. The thing about this hair is the tangling. I was like, okay, you know, when you get longer hair, <coughs> you should expect more tangling. I was expecting that, but this is like, I only had it in a week, I had it done last Monday, so that was a week and like four days ago, four or five days ago, and it just, it tangled, not excessively tangling where I have to like comb it every five minutes or something, but every I'll say three or four hours, like if I run my fingers through it, it'll have a tangle. And then I'll have to get my my paddle brush or my wax tooth comb and comb it out. But for the most part, it's not too bad. Mostly, I try and keep it off of my neck. I think it's, it's more so in the nape area. It's not even really like on the top or anything. It's just the nape area. It tangles quite a bit. So, I keep it moisturize. But really, I haven't even put any products in this hair, except for whatever was left in my spray bottle from when I had my curly hair, which I'm pretty sure is just Hello Hydration Conditioner and Water. So, yeah. Other than that, I haven't really put anything on it. <coughs> for my bang area, though, I did, um, I flat ironed it, of course, right? And I used Tresemme heat protectant spray it comes in the black and red bottle. I used that before I flat iron my bangs. But other than that, the hair's been natural. 
and I really kind of just wanted to get this video up before I went totally straight with all of this, cut some layers in it. So maybe I should like take it down so you guys can see what it looks like. A little bold. Yeah, it has like really nice waves and textures to it. Look at that. Like, it's a pretty shiny one too. That's pretty oil. As far as I know, I might have sprayed some oil sheen on it, but then I braided it up so when like I flat ironed it, I put oil sheen on it to kind of keep it. It gives it a little more moisture because I was out of oil. But that's about. It. You guys can see all that. These ends. Yeah, I'm not feeling these ends too much. I don't know. There's something about them that looks like beauty supply store weave ends, and I'm not feeling that. So probably gonna be cutting those. Mm. Other than that. There's not really too much I can say right now because I am only a, a week and a couple of days in. Close to the two mark, two week mark. So we'll see what happens. But for right now, like now I can run my fingers through it and it's been in a ponytail all day since I went to class that I got up like 10 30. I had class at 11.20, so ever since I got up to do my hair around like 10.40 something, 10.30 something, it's been up in a ponytail, and right now, it's like I, like I, you know, there's a few kinks, but it's not stopping my fingers from running through it, so it's doing pretty good. I think it's more so just when I have it down, up, and that was a kink. When I have it down and it's just like rubbing all up against my neck, that's more so when it gets the most tangled. And that is one thing I just do not like because I like wearing my hair down sometimes. Actually, probably a good majority of the time. So, I don't know if that's going to be a defining factor. Got to stir right there. That's one thing I can say. I did feel my web. And so, I don't know if you guys can see that. Random hair. Uh, so I'm happy that I did that because God knows how much shit I would have gotten if I did it. But I don't really get a lot of shedding. There's like two strands right there. Wait, oh, I'll take that back. We're just one strand loop together. When I um, yeah, you can see that when I run my fingers through it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I guess that's about it for this. We're just going to have to see what we can do with this. Hopefully, it, maybe it'll turn out like a little bit more better. I did try to flexi rod it. Oh, MG. When I flexi rod it. The rod, like the curls came out very pretty. But it was so tangly because like all the intertwining curls it tangled up like ridiculously and I just did not like that it was horrible so I was like well we're not going to be flexi riding it again I think I'm just going to keep it straight from now on or wavy like this but I will get back to you guys in a week maybe two and let you know what's happening then and see all my layering and whatever else kind of experimenting I plan on doing to it. See you later.